Hi everyone. You know, I'd like to just make this short little video and encourage you folks uh, that are worrying. You're worried about the future and uh, maybe some of you have a lot of fear about the future. It's not much wonder, I guess, in this crazy world that we're living in, but um, you know, Jesus doesn't want us to fear. He doesn't want us to worry. You know, the Bible says that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He changes not. Jesus doesn't change. And although time goes by and we as people, we know we change our looks, obviously. <laughs> we get gray hair and sometimes no hair. You know what I'm saying. You know, time does some awful things to you, but anyway. <laughs> uh, Jesus, he doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He hasn't forgotten about us. Just because we're getting really close to the tribulation, Jesus hasn't forgotten his own. And he knows his sheep. He, kn he knows his own. He really does. I wanted to read this little scripture for you folks, and it's found in, uh, in the book of St. Luke chapter 12 and starting with verse I believe verse 22 here uh, and he said unto his disciples Jesus speaking of course wherefore I say unto you take no thought for your life what ye shall eat neither for your body what ye shall put on the life is more than meat and the body is more than raiment consider the ravens for they neither sow nor reap which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God feedeth them, and how much more are ye better than the fowls? You know, that is so true. You know, I've, if I can interrupt myself right there, you know, I've, I've often thought of the deer, like where I live, the deer and the moose and the animals that stay they don't uh, go south in the winter, but they stay around here. Sometimes we can get some really harsh weather in the winter time. I often wonder, well, how in the world do these animals survive? It's amazing, really, it's amazing. I remember one time we were out cross-country skiing, and I saw like a, a bump in the snow and then I saw it move, and I was thinking, what in the world is that? It was only like 20, 30 feet away. Just then a bird stuck its head up out of the snow. It was a partridge. And it just, it popped up out of the snow, and it shook its feathers, and it took off. <laughs> well, that's where it spent the night. Uh, that's uh, pretty simple and easy. Just uh, find some snow, some soft snow, I guess, and fly up in the air and then come down real fast and bury yourself in the snow. <laughs> That's quite a... I gotta roll the window up because you know, it's probably affecting the the audio on the camera here, but anyways, it's just pretty neat. These big animals, like a moose, out there in the winter, it doesn't seem to bother them. The, it's so cold. It's amazing how that God takes care of the animals. So if, if he'll take care of these animals, well, I know he's going to take care of us. We don't have to fear. Even though we're in the last of the last days before the tribulation and Jesus' return, he's with us. He's with us always. Consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not, they spin not. And yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God is so clothe the grass which is today in the field and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? And seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be ye double-minded, for all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your heavenly Father 
knoweth that ye have uh, need of these things. He knows. He knows what you need. But rather seek ye first. But rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Isn't that just an awesome scripture? You know. Jesus knows just what I need. That song comes to me right now. Yes, he knows just what I need. He satisfies my every need. He supplies. Yes, he knows just what I need. He knows. He knows just exactly what you need. I had this feeling that there was somebody listening to me out there. And uh, all these things that are going on in the world today, they're frightening and scary. and You know, sometimes they can be. Maybe we shouldn't be frightened or scared as a child of God, but sometimes, you know, we're only human too. Well, you know, uh, um, it was for somebody that was frightened and afraid, and maybe you don't have anybody else that you can talk to, you miss your, you especially you miss your mom and your dad so much because they're both passed on now. But you miss them so much. But especially during this time, now this is what I felt to share. Especially at this time, you've really missed your dad. And just the uh, strong support that he would give you, Your your dad would be very supportive and uh, you could talk to your dad and he really understood he could uh, he could understand just how you would feel and he loves you so much now not everybody unfortunately not everybody has had uh, has been that fortunate to have a godly dad but the person I'm talking to uh, you had you had a very godly dad and they're passed on now and uh, now this is what was coming to me to share you can remember just the simple things when you were a child when you were younger how that your father would reach down and and pick you up when uh, when something was really bothering you and uh, now you look back and you might have just pinched your finger or something and but it, it was uh, very traumatic to you at the time. Well, your dad would, uh, he would reach down and, and he would pick you up. And he'd put you on his shoulder. Now that's what I felt to share. Oh, your heavenly father, he knows. He knows just, just how you're feeling. He knows those feelings and those thoughts that you have. And you wish so bad, you look back and you, you wish, oh, if I could just, if I could just look up to my dad and, uh, and he would reach down and pick me up and put me on his shoulder just once, just one more time, if he would do that, if he would do something like that for me, oh, it would mean so much. Well, the very best, the very best that I can, I, uh, I've shared that with you folks. And those, uh, those, uh, those thoughts that you've had, the Lord has surely heard you, and he, he knew what you were thinking. You miss your dad so much, especially at this time that we're in right now, especially now. You miss your dad so much. And uh, you could sure use the comfort that your dad would give. Maybe maybe it's not about these end of time events. That might not bother you so much. It could be something else. It could be, you know, I'm probably really touching on something there. Um, it's probably something else that's going on in uh, 
very personal things that's going on in your life personal problems whether it's financial or relationships that you've had or having uh, and you've been having a very difficult time and you just wish so much that that your dad was around so that you could just talk to your dad and he would put his hand on your shoulder and and say daughter or son it's gonna be alright just keep hanging on keep hanging in there keep hanging in there it's gonna be alright and uh, you're gonna see me again one day really soon I can just almost hear them say that you're gonna you're gonna see me again and that uh, those feelings and that that love that you felt from me you're gonna feel again and everything is going to be good again you know in a way your heavenly father right now is reaching down and and just like you when you were that child he's reaching down and he's he's uh, wanting you to let him to just take him up in to his arms put you up on his shoulder you know and I, I don't know if I can do this very well but uh, there, you're on my shoulder. <laughs> you're you're on my shoulder, and I, I think somebody over there is looking at me. <laughs> they, well, they're wondering what is that guy doing with that camera? <laughs> oh well, <laughs> they're probably saying, "I thought I saw it all." <laughs> Oh, I, I, I do these things because I love you folks, I really do. But I, I wish I would have done that about three or four weeks ago because that's when I really felt to do that. I felt to... I felt to reach down and pick up the video camera just like I'm picking you up and uh, putting you on my shoulder. Just like your dad would have done. But I share these things because I love you folks and... Uh, I know it's important. I know it's really important. You miss your dad. You miss your mom. Oh, you miss that uncle and that aunt. Precious, precious people in your life. They're all gone now. They're all gone, but they're not gone forever. They're just just gone for a little while. We're going to soon meet up on the other side. So that's uh, that should be a very comforting thought. Anyway, I, I just wanted to share those things with you folks. And... Uh, and uh, God bless and keep each and every one of you, and you all take care until next time. Bye for now.